Hey everybody, this is Dr. Dennis Buckley of the Health Advantage Physical Medicine in Pasadena, California. It's the month of June, Father's Day, so we present to you Men's Health Stand Strong. Most people associate masculinity with strong muscles, strength, leadership. Strong muscles is what is very important to keep you alive, moving, and healthy, but they're not enough. 186,000 men annually are diagnosed with prostate cancer. 8.7 million men suffer with heart disease. 98.6 million men have higher than normal cholesterol levels. And not to mention back pain, the number one cause of visits to the doctor. North Americans spend $86 billion per year, or 9% of the total health expenditure, dealing with back pain. We also are facing a aging crisis where the fastest growing population in the United States and in North America is centenarians or people over the age of 100. Whether you like it or not, want to or not, you will probably live longer than you ever thought whether you want to or not. So if that is true, wouldn't it be a good idea to not only to survive but to thrive? One thing you can do to find out about how you may stack up is calculate your empire your minimum years, potential years remaining. So what you want to do is take the oldest family member that you can recall, blood relative, put their name in there, put your current age underneath that, subtract the distant difference, and that is your minimum potential years remaining. How do you feel about that? If you knew you had another 50, 60 years, 40, 30 years, whatever, and you knew that, that was going to happen, how would you take care of yourself? Life expectancy is rising for all ages by 35%, and the U.S. Census says that the people over the age of 100 will raise at 746%. More than half the babies born since 2000 can live to be 100, and right now, current studies base aging on genetics anywhere from 5 to 30%, but the vast majority, 70 to 90 percent, is attributed to lifestyle choices. One of the questions that comes up when you look at statistics is women do live longer than men. Well, women tend to make healthier choices, they manage stress more effectively, and are more likely to live a well-balanced lifestyle. Therefore, they have better quality of health and live longer. So, one thing, men, you can do is stop killing yourself. Small and seemingly insignificant decisions we make will either enhance or detract from our quality of life and longevity. These would be in the areas of exercise, diet, uh, lifestyle choices, and things that are under your control. The top leading causes of death in men are heart disease, cancer, unintentional injuries, chronic respiratory disease, stroke, diabetes, the flu and pneumonia, suicide, kidney disease, and chronic liver disease. The thing that's interesting about this list are mostly are preventable. They are caused by lifestyle. So regardless of your family history, living your 100 year lifestyle might help you postpone these diseases for decades or even wipe them out from your future completely. So the cost of crisis care is staggering and that is what most of the health care in this country is about. In fact, it's creating a whole health debate about how to finance crisis care and how to finance preventable problems. Reader's Digest and other leading uh, publications talk about the high cost of health care but mostly the high cost of getting sick. 70% of people driven to death debt by the medical care had insurance at the time of their illness. Others have put off treatment because they can't afford it. We now see in the newspapers lots of articles and studies showing the side effects or the deleterious effects of common medications and the scrutiny is being placed on these manufacturers now to uh, come up and tell the truth about these type of drugs. That's why when you see commercial on TV now, the commercial for the drug may last 15 seconds and the other 45 seconds will be on the side effects or the primary effects. So it's becoming very evident that uh, a drugged society primarily is not working. It creates more problems. 
if you look at drugs.com and look at the side effects, the uh, side effects of common um, prescription drugs that are routinely given out are quite lengthy. The side effects of Lipitor, uh, which is common for side for cholesterol, elevated cholesterol, uh, have quite a uh, array of side effects that people experience regularly. Effects of Celebrex. Um, for pain, arthritis also has side effects. In fact, the FDA can't even keep up with the demands placed upon it to evaluate drugs. The, cannot, the FDA cannot fill its mission because its scientific base, as you wrote it, and its scientific organization structure is weak. And they're the ones that are supposed to be protecting us to make sure that what we're taking is safe and effective. So the question comes up is, are you an ostrich when it comes to your health? Are you sticking your head in the sand about what things you need to do? Uh, do you or anybody you know take prescription drugs regularly? Uh, do they take over-the-counter drugs regularly? Are they always tired? They always claim they need their drugs. They catch colds and flu often. They, uh, their life, their diet activity is always being altered because of health concern. They can't exercise. And their bathroom cabinet has become their medicine chest. It's time to take your head in the sand and start taking control of your health. Lifestyle care is the way to go. People that take care of themselves have better results. Jack O'Lane lived to the age of 96, but he had been advocating a healthy lifestyle, including exercise and diet, and keeping the nervous system functioning as often for the last 74 years. I remember back in the 60s, the Jack O'Lane show, he would be talking about this. People referred to him as a health nut. They referred to him as being crazy and over concerned well he outlived all of his contemporaries by a good two or three decades and did it in a way that was a high quality of life so what will your health be like when you get to the 80s 90s even 100s will you enjoy the journey along the way or will you just basically have to suffer through it the healthy choices you make today will impact the quality of your life now and in your future in your future so the question that comes into you up to you is what kind of care is right for you is crisis care your main mode, which is based upon need, stuff like birth trauma, learning challenges, childhood falls and accidents, acute chronic pain and sickness, allergies, other autoimmune problems, digestive disturbances, herniated discs, headaches, hormonal imbalances, sports injuries. Spinal nerve pressure may be contributing to your health problems, creating these crises, which you need to have care for. So, there is a health care hierarchy of the higher lifestyle. First, everybody must participate in self-care. These are the things you need to do for yourself to stay healthy at the top of your game that nobody can do for you. There's also health care. These are the things you need to do for yourself stay healthy at the top of your game that you can't do for yourself. And then there's crisis care for acute pain, sickness, and disease or other type of health crisis that may show up. And they do show up. The healthiest person in the world, if they get in a bad auto accident, may experience crisis care and will need help. Self-care. Nutrition and fitness. One thing in self-care that is very important is your choice about what you put in your body. That's the fuel that basically runs your body. You will need to choose quality calories, Q QCs versus excess calories. Eating healthy involves more fruits and vegetables, more fiber, whole grains, pasta and rice, less fast food, make better choices, and eliminate the white devils, white flour, white sugar, and white rice. Increase your omega-3s for your heart and prostate health, and then the best source is fish and or fish oil, and through supplements. Get your S in shape. That stands for endurance, strength, and structures. Fitness and a healthy aging go together. You must balance, you must achieve balance to maximize results. Do endurance exercises, 20 to 30 minutes of cardiovascular exercises three to four times a week or more. Wear a heart monitor to see what your heart rate's doing. Strength, strengthen your major muscle groups, including your chest, back, arms, and legs. And structure, posture and alignment are important. Chiropractic care will help your structure of your spine maximize your nervous system and allow it to f flow without impedance, optimizing your health. Putting these three things together, exercise and nutrition, are the two most powerful actions you can take to prevent problems. In fact, it's estimated that if people exercise regularly and ate healthy, that 70 to 90 percent of emergency rib visits could be eliminated. One thing about structure that you have to understand is that it can structure controls your spine and that affects your nervous system. So things such as stretching, Pilates, yoga, warming up 
properly and cooling down properly during exercises and spinal alignment can help ma optimize your structure because your structure your spine houses your brain and your nervous system here's some nervous system facts your nervous your brain has more than a hundred billion neurons storing nearly more than a hundred trillion bits of information everything that's ever happened to you is stored in your brain the brain the nervous system regenerates constantly and can renew itself even in adulthood communication in the body takes place over 45 miles of nerves relaying over 3 million messages every second between your brain and body at speeds up to 170 miles per hour and regeneration of the proper function of your system is possible with chiropractic care and other pro uh, preventative and natural health um, treatments. Spinal injury research fact shows that 8 to 10 millimeters, the pressure of a dime, the weight of a dime, can reduce spinal transmission in the nerve by nearly uh, 70%. After two weeks of immobilization, uh, not moving, scar tissue can't affect the pair on the bone, affecting how you move, affecting structure, and affecting the nerves. If your posture is poor on the outside, your spine and nerves are probably deteriorating on the inside. Upper left is uh, normal, and it starts degenerating. You see that the space between the bones starts decreasing and spurs start forming, forming. Then it spreads to multiple levels and then it gets absolutely worse. This is what vertebral subluxation or misalignment of the spine or dysfunction of the spine can take, happen, take place over time. And many times this deterioration takes place without symptoms until it is advanced. So the question is, is your spine aging well? Have you ever looked at your posture? poor posture, flat back, head forward, or poor posture, forward head, rounded shoulders, weak abdominal muscles, and a sway back. You should have good posture where everything is aligned. So the question is, are you standing strong or are you deteriorating? We can, you can download the core strength and stability test and basically test yourself Look at yourself in the mirror, have someone else look at you, look at your family members, look at your spouse, look at your significant other, look at your kids, see what their the posture looks like, and if there's any uh, deviations from normal posture, get in to see the chiropractor and get an evaluation to find out how to improve your posture. The posture test also is looking at uh, how you uh, are standing, how you're uh, progressing. So. Between the core and the posture test, you'll be able to give yourself a self-analysis about how you're doing because your core muscles also uh, support your spine and that takes the pressure off your nervous system so that it works well. So download these two tests, the posture and core test, and see how you stand. One thing that happens in the body that we mentioned before is spinal subluxation. Spinal subluxations are less than dislocations. They're altered function or misalignment that affects how your spine works, kind of like a kink in a chain. And basically, spinal subluxations take place throughout our whole life. The birth process, learning how to walk, uh, childhood playing growth spurts, uh, body weight changes, up or down. Uh, the stress that we feel physically, chemically, and mentally in day, intense emotional experiences through life, uh, injuries such as auto accidents, work injuries, the environmental toxicity that we're exposed to every day, food poisoning, uh, injuries during sports or intensive training, hormonal changes, uh, poor posture except sitting, probably the number one cause of subluxations in most people because we sit so much, uh, trips, falls, sickness, diseases, any type of trauma to your body can cause spinal subluxation. So. Healthcare, that is what you can do for yourself. And then there's healthcare, that's stuff that requires the service of other health providers, such as the chiropractor giving you an adjustment, going to the dentist and getting your teeth cleaned, uh, getting checked. Uh, we do need doctors, we do need uh, providers. Go seeing your primary treating physician, getting your lab work done and checking out with the internal environment and going over your thing. You need to create a team of healthcare providers that can help you stay healthy. So, one of the things also is crisis care. If you're in a destructive pattern of poor lifestyle, stop now and make every choice from this moment on count towards your ideal 100-year lifestyle. Remember, if you said if you're going to live to be nearly 100 years of age, what would you do right now that would help to maximize, optimize, and enjoy that journey? If you are in a destructive pattern, you know it is, stop it. Make the changes in a new direction. 
don't just and also don't just treat the crisis treat the cause of the crisis you need to make lifestyle care your top priority this will save you time money aggravation and will increase your enjoyment of life make healthy choices today and stand strong for a lifetime your health your healing is your responsibility lifestyle care is based on want you want healthy growth and development you want good posture throughout your life you want to maximize your energy you want to optimize your nerve system function you want to express your innate genetic potential to its maximum you want to improve athletic performance all throughout your life you want to increase flexibility minimize effects of stress strengthen your immune system and live an active life if that's the kind of care you want then you want lifestyle care this is based on want so make lifestyle care your top priority top performers in the world use chiropractic care and lifestyle care as their basis for functioning people like Roger Craig running back for the San Francisco 49ers Kerry Walsh world-class volleyball beach volleyball player gold medal winner Dan O'Brien the world's greatest athlete Emmett Smith the number one running back of all time in the NFL uh, the World Cup champ women's soccer team and even people such in entertainment such as Usher uh, they've all used uh, lifestyle care as their primary care to maximize their potential. Otherwise, and now companies are now jumping on board. Google and other leading companies and professional sports teams have chiropractors on site and promote a healthy lifestyle. Isn't it time you made your health a priority? Which tree would you rather be? Would you rather be on the left where the branches are withering and dying or on the right where they're green and they're growing? When you're ripe, you rot. When you're green, you're growing. Are you still growing or are you rotting? Which tree would you rather be? How about your family? We would like to offer to you a special deal this month of June to the men. And it is a uh, complimentary consultation to basically understand what is going on with you. Are you in crisis? Do you have ongoing problems that are unresolved? We will also provide for you a comprehensive symptom survey to evaluate how your body's systems are working, a complete report of findings, and a discount off supplements. This is a $200 value, and it's absolutely free if you call 626-798-7805 and mention your and schedule your appointment. Mention Men's Month Special, and you will get this free consultation. Isn't it time you found out what was really going on? then making the choices that will move you forward. Come on, guys. Stand strong. Be with us. Be healthy. Lead your family and lead your health. This is Dr. Buckley from The Health Advantage. Have a great month.